Hi guys and thank you so much for checking out this video lesson. It's going to be a short lesson on the Lydian scale. We're going to be looking at some simple one octave and two octave fingering patterns and then I'm going to improvise over this track that I've composed just basically using the colours and characteristics of the Lydian scale in a more musical environment. I think it's really important when you're practicing, well whatever you're practicing, to kind of work in two different ways. First by really isolating and focusing in on whatever you're working on, making sure you're technically efficient, making sure you can hear what you're working on. And then the second part is to really start improvising and creating music and just basically being creative with whatever you're working on. That's the reason why I created this track because I just want to not sound like I'm playing patterns and scales. I kind of want to be in a more musical environment. And you basically sound how you practice. So if you practice scales and patterns, you're going to sound like you play scales and patterns. So I like to create little tracks to play along with and just bring out the musicality that's within me and just, you know, focus or stay focused in what I'm working on. So I'm going to make this track available for you to download so you can just basically do the same thing. Just have fun with it, apply what we're, we're, look, we're looking at here and just create your own melodies and improvisations. So if you're not sure what a Lydian scale is, it's basically the fourth mode of the major modes. And if you're not familiar with what a, a mode is or the major modes, it's basically if you take a major scale and you build a new scale starting from each degree of that major scale using the same notes, you create a new set of scales which is called the major modes. Now if I take the G major scale, now I'm sure you're all familiar with the sound of that scale. And now if we start this scale starting from the fourth degree, which is C, and build a scale C to C using notes from the G major modes, we come up with what is called a Lydian scale. And it sounds very familiar to the major scale, but it just has this raised fourth degree. And this scale sounds really beautiful when you're playing along with a related major chord. So I'm now going to play you a C major 7 chord and then I'm just going to play the C Lydian scale so you can kind of hear the colour and characteristic and it's a really beautiful scale. <laughs> scale and I use it quite a lot in my compositions and improvisations and it's just you know a really sensitive sweet scale so I'm now going to show you a couple of one octave fingering patterns the first being probably the most commonly used one we're going to start on the eighth fret of, of the E string I'm going to demonstrate on this Tony Gray signature bass by Federa really beautiful bass and uh, like I said it's probably the most commonly used fingering pattern 8th fret of the E string with the 2nd finger in position 2-4, that's the fingers I'm using, and then on the A string again in position 1-3-4, and then D string again 1-3-4. So E string 2-4, A string 1-3-4, D string 1-3-4. The same descending, 4-3-1 on the D string, 4-3-1 on the A string, and then 4, 2 on the E string. You can start this scale from any C on the neck. Just use the same finger and pattern and you'll play the same scale. Now the second finger and pattern I'm going to show you is again starting on the 8th fret of the E string but this time I'm going to start with the 4th finger. So 4, then in position on the A string, 1, then 4 for that E and the reason why I'm using 1-4 instead of 1-3 is because now we're going to do a, a slight positional shift on the D string, 1-2-4, and then finally on the G string, 1-2. So again from the E string, 4, then 1-4 on the A string, 1-2-4 in the new position, then 1-2 on the G string. Same descending, 2-1, 4-2-1, 4-1. So you can get that C with the fourth finger where we started. 
Now the reason why I'm showing you that less commonly used fingering pattern is I just want to introduce you to a slight positional shift but by staying economically sound within the instrument. Now I'm going to show you a two octave fingering pattern. There's different ones you can use but I'm just going to show you one here. So start on the 8th fret of the E string again, 2-4, then A string 1-3-4 in position. Now from here, on the 10th fret of the A string with the 4th finger, I want you to jump up to the 1st finger on the 12th fret of the A string. So that's 4 10th fret of the A string to 1 12th fret of the A string. Now you should really isolate that position shift so you get fluent and comfortable with it because it's going to be really important when you start improvising and coming up with different ideas to be able to fluently move within a few octaves and not just kind of isolate yourself to one area of the neck. So from the top, 2-4 on the E string, 1-3-4, A string, and then positional shift up two frets from the fourth finger to the first finger, 1-3-4. Now moving up to the D string in position, 1 on the 12th fret, now I want you to move up again, two frets with the first finger, so it's one, one, then three, four, and then finally one, three, four in position. So there's a couple of different position shifts here, so work on the scale very slowly so you can kind of get comfortable with that. So it's two, four, E string, one, three, four, A string, one, three, four, again on the A string, then one, one on the D string, then three, four, one, three, Now descending we're going to use a slightly different fingering pattern. It's going to be 4, 3, 1 and then from here I want you to go from the 14th fret of the G string with the first finger to the 12th fret of the G string with the 4th finger. So we're going 1, 4. Again isolate that if you need to. Do a little shift here so it's four three one four three one on the G string then four four on the D string and then we're just gonna finish the scale in this position four three one four three one on the A string and then two four on the E string so from the G string four three one again on the G string four three one D string four four three one four three one four two now if you can come fluent with this two octave fingering pattern you're going to start to see your musicality and your movement and your technique around your instrument improve quite considerably so i've written out the fingering pattern for you so please check it out and now i'm just going to improvise over this track using the lydian scale <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.